We went to Romania, again, but this time it was different. More trains and only film, but first we had to get to Bucharest. After arriving, we made it to the Gara de Nord, Bucharest's main railway station. But we had time to kill, so we explored the area around the station. In terms of gear, on this trip I used my Pentax Spotmatic SP and a 35mm Review Non Special f2.8 lens. I shot Kentmere 100 and 400, a developed and scanned at home. Look at what? Look, look at the long legs. Look at that. Look at it. Back to the train station. At the far end of the station, there were abandoned moving walkways which were ripe with photographic opportunity. Also trains, so, you know. I took a few more photos before we settled in to wait. <laughs> but what were you waiting for, you might be asking? Well, a train. It is a train station. But not just any train, we were waiting for the night train to Cluj-Napoca in which we had booked a sleeping cabin. And when it arrived, we headed for the Schlafwagen. Nothing fancy, but everything we needed, so we settled in. Mm -hmm. 
With the sun having set, we departed Bucharest and our journey into Transylvania had truly begun. Not the quietest or the smoothest, but we managed to get some sleep. The next day dawned as we continued towards Kluge. Cluj is the second most populous city in Romania and is the unofficial capital of the Transylvania region. We had some time to kill before we could check in, because it was only 8am, so we wandered. We found the old town, but our hotel had emailed us saying our room was ready, so back we went. At this point, we took a much needed nap. When we woke up, we set out for Union Square with St. Michael's Catholic Church and the statue of Matthias Corvinus, a King of Hungary born in Cluj.
I really think the statue with the church behind it is cool, but did I need three photos of it? No, I needed four. We continued walking the streets and came across the National Opera of Cluj and Apoca. And the Dormition of the Mother of God Metropolitan Cathedral. It is a quite impressive Neo-Byzantine Romanian Orthodox Cathedral. On the other side is a monument to the glory of the Romanian soldier. The weather was hot and humid, but we continued on into the central park of Cluj. There is an old casino that is now a culture center. Just beyond is a pond where people are riding swans and dragons on the water. By this point we were very hot and we're looking to relax and cool off a bit. But the first restaurant we approached only offered outdoor seating. The buildings indoors were nice and air-conditioned, but we would have to sit outside in the heat. We didn't stay there, but instead kept looking. And I'm glad we did, because we ended up at Frank the Tank. They were also only serving outside, but they allowed us to sit inside in the air conditioning. The food was great, and the service was great, and the beer? Well, they had an Ursus Lemonade Shandy, which really hit the spot in such heat. After recuperating a bit, we headed back out for more wandering. That is until we got an alert on our cell phones. We didn't think much of it, but we headed back to the Union Square for more photos of the church and the statue. While we were there though, we noticed restaurants that were bringing in umbrellas and bringing in chairs and basically battening down the hatches. So we followed their lead and went back to our hotel, but not before I took a few more photos. It's a good thing we started back when we did, because as we approached our hotel, the sky was full of dark gray menacing clouds and frequent flashes of lightning. And then, so we stayed in and relaxed. Our first stop of the day would be the Central Cemetery in Cluj. The cemetery was situated on a hill and it was quite the place. There were many beautiful tombstones and mausoleums.
It rained on us a little bit in the cemetery, but the forecast showed much more on the way. So we waited out the rain by going to an art museum. When the rain had stopped, we ate lunch by the canal. We relaxed a bit in our hotel, then began our trek up the main hill in Cluj for some views of the city. Mario's favorite. Well, I love stairs. Not to the top yet. Having fun exposing this camera. And fuck you. Let's go. The heat and the hill were getting to Maria, but we soldiered on. Of course. Into the scary path. It's a park. There's children playing right over there. Children are the most children and youth you have to worry about. Not drug addicts, not homeless people, children. Where are we going? At the top, we were looking for the views. To the tower, maybe? We found a parachute tower instead. Uh -huh. Here's a good view with some fences. Maybe. I mean this uphill here. Beautiful. Looking for a better view. Will we find it? I don't know. Hotel Belvedere. Those would be quite quite some rooms with a view. Oh, here's the spot. Here's the spot I met. And then we found it. The view of Cluj. The photo is uh, bad, but the view was very nice. Having seen what we set out to see, we walked down the hill, which was much easier. It had a heart, f***ing. Uh, yeah, I'm coming. 
I'm coming, bitch. You better run. <laughs> the f was that? <laughs> it had a hard fing thing to hear. This is not loving cat. It doesn't even deserve to be handled by me. Later that evening, it stormed again, so we retired to our room to relax. The next morning, we checked out and hurried to the train station for the next leg of our adventure. We slowly rolled out of Cluj to our next destination. Riding in a train across the Romanian countryside was amazing. It was so cool to just look out the window and see so many people, places, and things pass by. And then, Sigishwara. Sigishwara's history goes back to the Roman era, but it is best known as one of the citadel cities of the Transylvanian Saxons. And just look at that citadel. First things first, we checked into our room to drop off our things. Then we went out to explore. But, right off the bat, more cats. No luck. It's so 
put it to like scale with something. Let's use this. One of Sigishwara's most noticeable landmarks is the clock tower. It was built in the 14th century and expanded in the 16th century. He's just trying to take a nap. Jesus. We grabbed the souvenir magnet and continued on. But we were getting hungry, so we ate at Vlad's house. Then we experienced more of what Sigishwara had to offer, such as medieval streets and picturesque views. History everywhere. and more cats. Now that is incompatible with like this brain damage. This. Seriously. I think they're all named Vlad. Yeah? Yeah. Probably. Next time I approach a cat, I'm gonna say, Vlad. 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 Oh my god. And then, what Maria had been waiting for. A monument to Vlad. My new home now. I just bought it to be close you... to Vlad. In the lower part of town, we got new perspectives on the clock tower. After an initial walkthrough of the town, we relaxed in our room for a bit.
Before too long though, we were back out and back at it. The evening light was quite nice. I love this photo and I don't know why. I almost walked past it, but I'm glad I didn't. Maria finally found a cat to handle. But... Don't do that. After a long day, I wanted one more photo from our room's window of the sun setting behind the citadel. But there were some technical difficulties, one of the risks of shooting film. Luckily, I'd also snapped a quick shot with my phone. And then, the next day. Here we go, exploring for our train. We decided to check out a part of the town outside of the main citadel area. Just as all roads lead to Rome, we found ourselves heading back towards the citadel.
playing with snails? We had some lunch and began our walk back to the train station. Right there. Oh, that's a fucking crocodile. That's not even an alligator. It was very hot inside, so we went outside to wait. Ladies and gentlemen, the radio train number 2581 to Sibiu leaves at platform 4. Please take your seats. The train stops in every station until Sibiu. And that's it for this video, but not for our time in Romania. There will be a part two, so be sure to subscribe to see more. And until next time, thanks for watching.